Hello YouTube, welcome back. Thanks for joining us once more for another session in Cryptbeards 16. Isn't it exciting? This is currently being recorded on the 24th of July 2018. You are probably not going to see this until sometime late August, early September. So, I mean, if you want the hottest, up-to-date, most accurate Dwarf Fortress things, Come see us live. But if you prefer the 1080p 60 frames a second videos, I'm not sure why you would for Dwarf Fortress, but if you do, carry on watching on YouTube. Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, the infamous magma pump disaster. Yes, that's the plan in this, this exact moment of Dwarf Fortress. What we want to do is build some pumps to get this lava flowing a little bit quicker, because frankly, the trickle that's coming out of the volcano is not really doing it for me. So... What's the plan? I'm throwing my arms open here, I'm throwing my hands in the air, I'm saying, chat, please guide me. Help me, chatty one Kenobi. You're my only hope. Um, while I'm waiting for a response, I'm just going to quickly go through my taming um, screen and assign some trainers and whatnot. Uh, you're tame, tame, tame. Uh, what are we looking for? The rattlesnake. It's being trained. Should we assign a specific trainer? I'm just going to check to see if we've got a decent animal trainer. Have we? Have we? Don't sort by migration wave scoundrels. Sort by nothing. Sort by nothing but their skill. Uh, mm, twos and ones across the board. But um, nah, we'll let them. We'll let them tinker away as need be. Do we have puppies that we can train as? Well, just train really, just to get better at being um, puppies, I suppose. Uh, alpaca, reindeer, bull, dog. Uh, you can be trained for war. Oh, actually, you're a pet, aren't you? Can't war train you. Damn it. Um, stray puppies. Okay, you need training. Um, oh, I see. If we do that, we have to select any trainer. Okay, well, we do that. We'll just go through here. Go through here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 There we go. It's all working. Don't worry. Don't worry. If there's a plan, it'll it'll work. It'll work. You can't war train boars, sadly. I remember that much. Um, hmm. And I never thought I'd say I hope the elves turn up again, but I hope they do. Oh shit, there's a trader here, isn't there? Um, we're moving the goods to and from. It's time to trade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the only thing you can offer is to remember to make the, magma, the pumps out of magma safe stuff. While it's paused, just before we do the trading, let's have a look at the source of the magma. What I've got here is, um, if we go down a floor, you'll see we've got this channeled out area here, which leads this too wide goes down to the moat, this goes down to a magma forges, but that's fine. That's full, that's not a problem, that's all good. Um, Clint of Salutations, I saw you on my recent r slash df uh, post. Cheers mate, thanks for your work on df hack, etc. Yes, uh, 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 yeah, thanks for df hack. <laughs> I mean, anything that gets df hack doing more stuff is uh, good in my book. Is this still suspended? No, it's just not being done yet. Okay. Okay, all right. So back down to the pause and uh, time to trade. There we go. Trade. <coughs> Let's have a look at what they've got. Well, we have one bin full of spiked board and balls worth 43 grand. So I get the feeling we're going to be able to buy pretty much anything they've brought. Should we test that? Let's test it. We're going to get all their bars for a start because, you know, who doesn't want lots of bars? Gold bars. Do we want their gems? I don't think we really do. It's a bit of a waste of money buying their gems. Uh, then again, let's get some clay, sandy clay, buy some clay up. Not really uh, much opportunity to use clay. Do I want ropes? Yeah, I want ropes. Lots of ropes, that'll do. What's the value coming up to? It's three grand already. Water skins, sure. Uh, they're thinning. Oh, here we go, a ginkgo wood ustith. We've seen the ustith before, haven't we? What about the dow? Have we seen the dow? Let's have a little look at the dow. This is a well-crafted stoneware dowel. The blocks are made from stoneware. The stand is made from crystal glass. The dowel is a mid-sized stationary percussion instrument. It consists of three ceramic blocks attached to a glass stand. The musician strikes the blocks. The instrument has a one-octave range going from a mid-high to a high pitch. The instrument has a vibrating, fragile timber. <laughs> Um, no, that's good enough. I think we have seen the dowel before. Let's ignore it. We're not going to buy it. Have they got any interesting animals in cages? They've got a horse. They don't want a horse. Reindeer bull? Not interested. Sow? Maybe. 
You know what, we could always do with a pig knocking around. Uh, duck, not really. Reindeer bull, no. No horses. Do I want cats? Not really. We've got a shitload of dogs already. Uh, bull, reindeer cow, buck rabbit. The last thing we want is freaking rabbit so you know the frame rate. Guinea cock pig's milk. Donkey's milk. Pear wood barrel. Dwarven rum. Yeah, we'll buy that. Um, llama milk. I suppose so. Dwarven rum. Yeah, llama's milk. Sure. Jordan wine, Jordan rum, reindeer's milk, vine, bumblebee venom. Sure, I'll have a barrel of bumblebee venom. <laughs> Why not? Dwarven rum, buckets, that's some buckets. Do I want a bronze crossbow? Not really. Uh, although it might make sense to buy some weapons. Then again, do I really want to bother? Maybe I'll buy all the steel stuff and we can melt it down. You don't actually do anything with DF Hack, but you answer questions where you can. Well, that is enough, frankly. If you're explaining how things work, you're uh, doing more than I am. Um, do I buy steel to melt down? Because then we can start making some other stuff out of it. Once our guys are a little bit better. Uh, Bismuth Bronze Warhammer. You know what? We've got stuff. Maybe... Nah, if we've got money left over at the end, we'll go and pick up all the steel stuff. But for now, we'll leave it as it is. Training spear. Mace. Ginkgo wood training spear. Let's use the mouse to point at this rather than scrolling down bit by bit with the arrow keys. Bismuth bronze battle axe. Silk dress. Mail shirt. Nothing interesting there. Page down. Bronze low boots. Bismuth buckler. Bismuth bronze cap. Bronze cap, steel helm, alpaca wool, right mitten, meh, meh, anything in here, sand, well, we could buy up some sand, dwarven wheat, 260 for a bag of wheat, good grief, quick lime, why not, gypsum, yeah we'll have that, um, red sand, dwarven wheat, sure, I'm just picking bits up in, here and there now, getting a bit tired of looking around, may as well pick up some, oh shit, more dwarven sugar, Pearwood chest, gypsum plaster, yeah sure, that's good for the old hospital when we get it up and running. Um, the blood and venom stuff is supposed to be useful one day, this is not that day. Apparently if you go through a lot of faffing around, you can coat weapons in the stuff, but I don't know if that's still just a theory, rather than, uh, or just a hypothesis rather. I was reading stuff about it and it seemed plausible, but uh, not to my weak ass skills. Uh, yeah, short leather chest. Um, leather bin. Let's buy a couple of leather bins. We're going to be making our own leather soon, so we're going to have to slaughter some stuff just to get some space. Because our uh, our uh, pasture land is getting a little bit busy. Just a little bit busy. I don't need any more leather or cloth, thank you very much. I've bought enough off of you already. Cloth, 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 leather, cloth. Good God, how much do you think I need? Have you, do you, do you have some kind of mistaken impression of this fortress as a textile centre, because frankly, you seem to have brought all the gear for it. <clears throat> oh man, speaking of uh, Blender, I mean, if it wasn't for the uh, tutorials and documentation that users themselves make, it would be a nightmare to learn. But uh, thankfully, there's a lot of really good stuff out there for learning it. A lot of really good stuff. Uh, a nice scepter, not really interested. Do we want to buy bolts? We can make our own bolts. We've got a lovely boa in now, so we can sort that out. Um, pig hoof earring? Is that a whole pig hoof? Or what? Uh, amber opals, oval cut steel, anvils. Do we want? I mean, we could get them nice and easy, melt them down, bong bong bong. Probably got a few suits of armour in it, right? We'll come back. We'll look for steel later on. That was the plan. That was the plan. Let's get all their food. We'll take the prepared giant bat spleen cow, cow tripe. Yep, cow tripe, prepared giant bat spleen, giant olm tripe, elk liver, wren brain. Wren brain? That can't be very much, can it? I mean, that's got to be teeny weeny. Can I do this with page down? No, I cannot hold shift and press page down and get page after page after page of stuff, which would be nice. Oh, definitely, definitely. I don't think, I, I think personally, um, oh, lots of yarn and thread didn't really need that, but okay. Um, that uh, Dwarf Fortress doesn't need making open source yet. Maybe sometime down the line, maybe once he's got to a place where he wants to sort of just, you know, do stuff that's not in his specialty, like change the graphics, maybe work on the interface. Maybe he'll open source it and get other people working on it. But for now, I think it doesn't need to be 
because it, it's good as it is. It's good enough. It's good enough. Um, giant, oh, some cheese. Let's buy some cheese. Of course, this is R and D cheese for uh, improving our own cheese making process. As ever, we're not going to let the dwarves eat this shit, or are they? I don't know. Maybe I can't stop them. Crutches, copper usted stand, bismuth bronze usted stand, clear glass dowel stand, marble nest box, granite pedestal, pea flower leather inob bellows, inob bellows. Ah, here we go. A mica bound codex. Just what we're looking for. Just what we're looking for. I, it, who knows? No one's ever going to pick apart. If once they get their hands on the code, it must be so convoluted. This is a finely crafted mica bound codex. The written portion consists of a 39 page essay entitled Union Within Reason, authored by Melville. Melville Atticlapped. It concerns nuances of cooperation. The writing is as vicious as can be. Overall, the prose is great. Let's have it then. Let's buy it. 130, it's a pinch. Petrified Wood Bound Codex. This is a well-crafted Petrified Wood Bound Codex. The written portion consists of a one-page manual entitled Could It Be the Moon's Path? Authored by Yalumi Motherpatent. It concerns the path of the moon. The writing is fairly crisp, and it shows a hint of tenderness. Overall, the prose is great. Let's read that one then, get that one for the library. A rutile bound codex. Oh my, interesting. Let's have a little look. Excuse me while I take a quick sniff. <laughs> Gotta clear the old nasal passages. This is a rutile bound codex. The written portion consists of a one-page manual entitled An Offering to Wind Patterns, authored by Oda Bornut. It concerns the forces that govern wind patterns. The writing is completely serious. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Doesn't matter, it's going in our library, which we still haven't built. I should get some bookcases knocked up, shouldn't I? This is a marble-bound codex. The written portion consists of a one-page manual entitled About the Rising of the Sun, authored by Kovema Bushberry. It concerns the rise of the sun according to the season. The writing has a very serious tone, yet it is somewhat self-indulgent. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Lovely. Let's buy that. A phylite bound codex. Sure. Let's take a look. This is a finely written phylite bound codex. It is encrusted with well-crafted oval rock salt cabochons. The written portion consists of a 66-page manual entitled Strange Surveying Staff, authored by Zolvan Gleamgems. Gleam Gems. It concerns the construction and use of the surveying staff. The writing breaks sharply between topics with regularity, and it moves quickly from subject to subject. Overall, the prose is great. Good, let's buy it. Boom. Uh, and should we buy some parchment sheets? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, now, uh, in that case, let's go Q to search, and we'll type in steel. How much have we got here? So, steel mini forge, steel crossbow, steel pick, steel short sword. If I start buying this shit, the price is going to rise. But, I think... If we get it all, then 36 grand, doable. If I just put this weapon bin in, oh, actually, we'll take the crossbows out. We don't need that. The weapon bin should be enough, right? 36 grand for 43 grand. Seems doable. And then if I come down here, actually, do we care about the bronze crossbows? I don't think I do. I don't even know where they came from. Did we make them? Is that going to... Spiked Applewood Ball. Okay, something's gone very wrong. <laughs> something's gone horribly wrong. The trader is making a loss. That's not what's supposed to happen. There we go. Trade. Good, 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 good. 73 grand. In fact, you know what? Let's not give him the whole bin. Let's just give him a bit of profit. Let's just give him a bit of profit, shall we? Uh, da, da, da. I saw your distinctive profile pic on YouTube and greatly enjoying your whole aesthetic. Well, thank you very much. Music to my ears. Right, we won't put the bronze crossbows in, just the balls. There we go, he's making seven grand profit. Let's uh, see how he likes that. Oh, hang on, go, no, hang on, go clear the search to trade. Shift Q, there we go. And then, oh, he's not making profit anymore. Shite, I forgot about that. Okay, maybe we need to put some more in. Uh, more spiked wooden balls, here we go. Spiked wooden balls, in they go. Trader profit shooting up. He's in profit. Oh shit, calm down. I must have put a few really valuable ones in. Let's give him a 10 grand profit on a 53 grand trade. Let's see if he likes that. Trade. Are you sure you want to trade the selected goods? Yes. Perhaps you'd consider this superior offer. I will consider the offer and then I'll just come straight back to you and say, Hooray! Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. You're welcome, Dishmab. Cool. Let's send the trader away. 
Oh shit, that's not what we want to do. Let's send the trader away and then move our goods to and from the depot. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Um, any more? I don't see any. Still a shitload of petrified wood blocks knocking around though. Jeez. Didn't realise we had quite so many. Hmm. Hmm. It's like Tolkien himself is reading Dwarf Fortress to me. So soothing. <laughs> Please don't stop with the swearing. <laughs> I will I will try to keep it nice and balanced. Just dice uh, for every um for every hard F I'll put in a figgins. Every fucker figgins, that's the idea. That's the plan. We'll see how it works out. Uh, okay, that looks like we've got everything coming back out of here, and let's resume the action. Now, pumps. Pumps, pumps, pumps. Ooh, also, actually, while I'm still thinking about it, let's go to the stocks, enter that, uh, do uh, enhanced view, and then we search for steel. There we go. Um, well crafted, superior, well crafted, well crafted. Cool, whatever. Let's just start to. Ooh, that short sword's probably a keeper, actually. We'll keep that for old. Um, Vampire boy, right? Why not? Right, what's melt? Capital M. So melt that. Uh, do we keep the picks? You know what? We're making iron picks. We'll just melt these bad boys. This is currently in a job. Someone's already nabbed that one. Blimey, we've got to get in there quick. Melt those. Melt those. Melt those. Melt that. Melt that. Melt the buckler. Melt the bolts. Uh, melt the anvils. Not all of them. Fuck it. Let's just get loads of steel. Large serrated steel disc, done. Giant steel axe blade, boom, done. Okay, cool. Cool, that's nice. Uh, maybe we don't melt the anvils. Screw it, we'll keep the anvils for now. They're a nice little store of steel. Um, we also need to put the order in to melt that stuff, so melt. Melt a metal object, put it in as a perpetual order. Boom, lovely. Hmm. The fuck to figgins ratio is optimal. Good, good, good. Right, are these guys actually doing anything? Have we got a guy? Make ash? Is anyone doing that? Make potash from ash? No. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Oh well. You know what? Um, I've just realised. We've built our little vampire chamber here, but um, we don't necessarily have to make this a temple. We could make it a library. Or maybe we just break off the library elsewhere. Hmm. 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 You know what? I think the library can come over here. This bit along here can be the library. So, dig, or mine rather. Pop that there and that there. And then we just do this. Yeah, like that. And then bosh this out down here all the way to the end. And that is going to be our library. It's a bit minimal, isn't it? Shall I put some little knobbly bits sticking out of it? Shall I do that? Let's see what it looks like. Some alcoves to put some stuff in. Put some bookshelves in there or whatever. It'll be nice. Everyone... Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Don't do that, scoundrel. There we go. That's the deal. Boom. Lovely. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be bloody fantastic. Uh, what tile set? Um, it is. You're correct, Clinadev. It's Phobus. Or Pho Phobius? Pho Phobus. Phobus? Phobus. I'm going to call it Phobus. I don't know if that's correct, but we're going to call it that. Let's see if we can put any more chairs in for our tavern. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to say some food stockpiles in the corners, maybe. Yeah? And then that can be food and drink, so people don't keep trotting off down into the uh, proper dining area. Let's see. What we'll do is we'll do that across there and there. And then we do the same size one here. There we go. And once that's done, we click on them. Click S. And for this one, we don't want any food. We just want drinks. Lovely. No miscellaneous liquids, please. Thank you. And then down here, this one, quite the opposite. We want meat and fish. We don't want unprepared fish, though. Forbid that. Um, in fact, maybe we just take off all this. Drink plant, drink animal, cheese, animal. Did we leave that there? I don't want drink, sorry. We want just the food. Uh, Press material, no, no, no. Fat, milled plant, fruit leaves, no seeds. Oh, okay. Maybe. I thought there was prepared meals. Or is it? Oh, I see. Yeah, 
okay, so we do want meat. Um, it's not forbid, it's permit. There we go, permit. Meat, fish, um, eggs? Sure, eggs. And then cheeses and fruit and leaves. That should do. That should do. That should be good. That should be good. Uh, not bad to give a separate access to library for visiting scholars to contribute. But you are carrying on well, mate. Okay, well, I have got it outside my traps. So I've got cage traps here. So it's within the fortress, but it's in the sort of public zone. Because here we've got our tavern. Here we've got our library. Uh, and this is going to be a set of temples. Um, and there's our Waldian vampire up there. Cool. Okay, so we've got our food stockpiles sorted as I want them. Okay, we need pearl ash for do, to do more glass work. That's fine. Um, we haven't got a farm or a seed stockpile yet. So that's something we do need to look into. Um, hmm. uh, I live uh, in England, near London, near London, well, South London, <laughs> just to be, that's about as close as I'm going to get. I have to get going, best of luck with the magma pumps, glass components are handy for magma, they only lift magma at one level. Oh, okay, well we don't actually need to lift it very far, we need to get it to drop faster, if anything, that would be the ideal scenario. But we'll see, we'll see. Glass magma tubes do have a certain certain ring to them. They sound good. Okay, the mine is getting that dug out now. Do we start dedicating the temple already? Or what do we do? What do we, what do, we, what do, we do? What do we do? Should I put another glass door here? I think I will actually. B, D. In there and we'll have a green glass portal. The last one. Thank you. Good. Oops, sorry, let's let them carry on with their digging. Back to the surface. So far, so good. These lads are sort of sitting there with all their spike wooden balls. They'll be gone soon. They'll be gone soon. Don't you worry, people. Don't you panic. Maybe I did that, that floor thing wrong when I was building them. B, C, F. Let's go up a floor. And then can we... Yeah, we can put it there now. Okay, this is good. We can put this here. So we go across. Uh, no, suddenly we can't. No access to 90 building material, non-economic items. Oh, okay, that was the problem. It was just too big. Just too big. Yeah. It's placement blocked. Oh, by the, by the pillars. Okay, okay. Can we move it down like this? And like this? And like that? And like this? Placement is blocked. It has to come into contact. Okay, it could be that big, but no bigger. So we do need to figure out some way of making it. I didn't think of the gra grass when moving the magma. Hmm, try not to catch the grass on fire. That's a good point. Maybe we put a uh, stone floor around the outside. Actually, that might make sense. I'm going to do it. D, F. Go down a level. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, B, capital C, F. There we go. And then if we make it like three wide, that should be wide enough, right? And then we just go all the way along as far as we can. Okay, that tree's in the way, but we can sort that out. We can put a nice little... Um, what are we making out of? I want to make it out of uh, petrified wood blocks because we have so many. Cool. Okay, there's another one there. You, you, bump, 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 put it in there, petrified wood blocks, lovely. Three, how low can you go? Maximum size, nice. There we go, this shouldn't take too long, just lay a nice little floor around the outside so there's no uh, flammable shit. That's a technical term, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Oh, hang on, that's not what I want. No, that's what I want. There we go. Boom. Oh, hold on, what's this? Oh, look, we can't... Ah. There we go, and I would like to make it smaller, please. Thank you, there we go. Uh, petrified wood blocks, good. Um, no, not like that, like that. That's that, and that. There we go over here. 
Man, it's getting a bit tedious now, placing all these little platforms. Oh, shite. There we go. Petrified wood logs. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Bum bum bada bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum Still got well over a hundred of these bad boys. We did bring a lot of them with us, didn't we? It's nice to have something to use them for, actually. They've been sitting around for a while, I built the walls and then, you know, just what else what other uses do I have for petrified wood blocks? I need blocks that aren't easily scared. Ha ha what a little pun. Oh hang on, we're nearly out of petrified wooden blocks. This blocks? Blocks. This is interesting. 23 left. I'm not sure it's going to be enough to actually uh, to actually cover the area. No! Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, we'll make the rest up out of granite, I suppose. Damn. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll fill it in later on. We've used all of our petrified wood, which is a bit sad. A bit sad. Um, B for box mode lets you designate larger constructions. Yes, I keep forgetting to use that. I should do that. Oh, I should do that. Be it floor, wall, up there. Oh, hang on, box. You can do box for stairs. Oh, I didn't realize that. Not stairs, sorry. Um, walls. Walls and floors. Hmm. Uh, oh, no, don't worry. I don't mind people putting advice in. For God's sake. Um, if I didn't have people telling me how to play Dwarf Fortress on my stream, I wouldn't know how to play Dwarf Fortress. Well, I don't really know how. Who knows how to play Dwarf Fortress, really? Honestly. I mean, can anyone claim such a such a thing? Um, down here, get rid of that tree there. These two. There we go. Then we can fill that floor in when it's time. Six or seven idlers still. A bit disappointing, but there you go. Uh, maybe they weren't. Ah, uh, maybe they weren't building it because they couldn't get up to it. No, that's not right. That's wrong. That's not wrong. All we need to do is get a mason making some blocks, actually. That might be useful. If we can't... In fact, let's do it. M... Uh, no, not M. J, M, Q, B, L, O, C, K. Uh, Dowel blocks, iron blocks, crystal glass blocks, clear glass blocks, rock blocks. I would like um, a perpetual order for day site blocks or some such thing like that. Let's uh, go to the details. Excuse me. Bit of a hiccup there. There we go. No. Gabbro. We've got more Gabbro. Oh, I don't want to use that all up. It's magma safe, isn't it? Um, all right, let's use up this day site. We don't need it. We don't need it. There we go. And maybe I change the conditions, change the number. Um, uh, no. Uh, conditions. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> That's another tutorial video away from me, I think. i got to give it another session of uh, research before I start looking into the more advanced manager settings. <clears throat> uh, the portrait actually is... The, the magma is spreading, actually. It's not getting deeper quickly, but it's spreading. So that's... At least we're keeping it fresh. If the two sides touch, I feel like it will fill up, but that's only if the two sides touch. Loads of wood falling into the lava there. Da -do, da -do, losing it all. Never mind. Could be a lot worse. Can I build a well yet? B L needs blocks. Okay. Well, we have got an order in for blocks, so fingers crossed, we'll get some made up. My craft dwarves are not being put to good use, are they? We should be doing more with them. Maybe I should be doing some more smoothing. Actually, let's go down to here and smooth the tavern out. Uh, designate smooth. There we go. Don't really need to change the priority because, frankly, I don't think stone detailers do much else, unless they're also miners, in which case they'll probably be uh, trotting around, buggering about, doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing, <laughs> as all dwarves do, it would seem. Ah, okay. I can area select this nice and quick, can't I? Let's just go all the way up this corridor. Make it smooth. Yeah. Now here. Get smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, getting a little overexcited. Sort all this out. I need some bookcases made as well. Did I put in an order for bookcases? Maybe I can build one already. It's not outside the realms of possibility, to be honest. Let me just 
designate up these bits. Ah, shit, the bed alcoves aren't going to work, are they? They're going to remain un unsmoothed. I think just going to remove, I think I put some smoothing underneath some of these beds, which will be a pain in the ass. but there we go, that's all that done. Now, can I build a bookcase? It's on the previous page, bookcase, do I have any? Needs bookcases, okay, we've got to build some bookcases, J-M-Q, B-O-K, C-A-S, okay, uh, what do we make them out of? Rock or wood? Let's go for rock ones, uh, and I would like, um, Let's go for 20 of the bad boys. Let's go for a big bad number. Let's see what our furniture stockpiles are full of, actually. What do we got in here? We've got beds, we've got tables, we've got chairs, we've got armor racks, we've got statues, we've got chests. Basically, tons of stuff. Tables seem incredibly popular. Let's go to the food court. Can we put more tables in here? BT. Let's put a couple of tables there. That's no good. Maybe a chair or two. That's good, that's good. And then we'll set this for smoothing as well, actually. Why not? Why not have the dwarves eating in a more magnificent dining room? It only makes sense, right? And we can put some statues in these alcoves once they're smoothed. I should probably smooth the floor in the alcoves as well, because once we've got statues in there, we won't be able to, will we? And that would be a crying shame. Total waste of time. An absolute... Well, I'm trying to think of another word that means waste of time, but I'm having trouble. I'm struggling. I'm so struggling. The key trick is to be designating a construction. Uh, hit B for box mode, then H to make hollow, and then you can designate a large perimeter. A la bloom. A boom, sorry. You prepared blocks for building beforehand, right? Uh, not yet. But now I know that I can do that. That's going to be a lot more interesting. B followed by H. Or possibly not H, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh, the merchants have gone. That's nice. Toodle pit lads. Godspeed on your way. Have a good time. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, they're putting down the petrified wood blocks. Have they chopped any of the trees down? Not yet. I mean, to be honest, we've still got a ton of wood sitting around outside. How are our wood stockpiles looking? Uh, they're not full. They're not full. So what have we got in here? This is just stones that aren't for smelting, and this is stones that are. Maybe we should get our miners going a bit more, because we're not really digging out much in the way of a mine. I'll tell you what, F1. Uh, do I want to dig off of my main tunnel? Yes, okay. Well, I've got an idea what I'm doing here. Okay, now watch this, watch this. Um, we're going to dig, and we're going to dig a... You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dig two little doorways. That's lovely. There. And then we're going to do a three wide corridor coming down here. We're going to do a bit further down here. And it's going to be a trap bonanza. And then, oh shit, it's a bit too far. We're going to go there. And then this is going to be where we dig down. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floors down. There we go, and then off of there, I'm going to dig around here. There we go, there's that, and we'll see what happens. And then we're going to do um, cavern baffles, what I call monster baffles. Uh, what temps are you getting down there in the south of London? Uh, Evil Stew is a Somerset streamer that was reporting cooling temps and possible rain yesterday after a prolonged hot stretch. Uh, it's quite warm. <laughs> it's quite warm here. It's cooling off now because it's dark and I had the door open a minute ago while I was on break. But um, it has not been what you would describe as a chilly day. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, B, X. Uh, I need a couple of doors. Uh, no, sorry. It's... D, X, there we go. I need a couple of doors here and here, and here and here. There we go. So we can just door it off, that'll be nice. B, D, put some doors here. What have we got, granite doors? Sure, granite doors are good for me. All lovely. 
<laughs> yes, it is muggy. It's uh, super hot. But uh, now I'm sitting here with uh, my shirt off, which is you know fine because I've got a, not got a webcam. But um, now I'm sitting there with that off. It's actually cooling down a little bit for me. Then again, it is also half past two in the morning, so that tends to be a cooler time of day anyway. Just sometimes, you know. Uh, build door. Okay, let's put a door in here. Got any glass doors? No. But we have two niece doors, so let's use the matching doors. Okay, lovely. It's not as cool as the glass doors for the temple complex, but it's all good. It's all good. Mm, probably put some temple stuff in here. Temples are zones, right? We need to designate them as zones. So, first of all, go in here. Let's say, bonk. There we go. And now it's a what? Meeting zone? It has to be a meeting zone, doesn't it? So uh, that is what? M. Meeting area. Assign location. Here we go. Uh, add a location. Right, this is going to be a temple. So what gods have we got? Eve Golden Flicker, the luxuries of what? Fire and wealth. Nice. Suitable for the volcano. Fortresses, that's not too bad. Metals, fire and volcanoes. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Ooh. Uh, Thakan, jewels, wealth, trade, minerals. We're looking for the ones with the smaller number of worshippers for these side ones. Wow. Almosh is popular. 104 worshippers. Also, Toral. Very popular. Jewels, wealth, and duty. They're all fairly popular, actually. We're not seeing... And I'm not seeing any naughty gods. Ah, oh, we've got a healing one. We have to make a jewel... Um, hospital slash uh, t uh, temple again. That'll be good. Uh, S, the industrialization, you know, if DF hack, then Alt M for a summary of preferences and gods. <coughs> oh, right, okay. Um, Alt M. What? In, hang on. T temple. Alt M. Nope. That didn't work. I'm not sure I followed what you said there. But better the location. Oh, okay. So this is uh, this is for you saying this is better. Well, okay. We'll make this one for Eve Golden Flicker, the fire and wealth one. Uh, we can place a, another one here, which can be for a larger. Uh, not the sweltering shrine. This one is uh, a temple, and this one is for. Mountains and caverns, that's a good one. Uh, so we put another one in here, and that one's going to be a meeting hall assigned to the sweltering shine. Sorry, the sweltering shrine, the church of depth, and now the who have we got? Someone with less than a hundred worshippers would be good. Uh, we've already got that one. Already got that one. Oh, have we? Shit, I've forgotten which ones we've done now. Was it Alron or Thakan? I did. Oh, let's just do the golden boulder. There we go. So, how do we figure out which one is for which? I do have dwarf, uh, dwarf hack. Alt M should be default shortcut. Um, Alt M. There we go. Oh, okay. The satiny luxuries. The hot persuaders. <laughs> the poetic style rhyme. The gold of confidence. The slow. The shows of ale. So, what's this? This is. Dance poetry item, Hater, hates purring maggots. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. So these are the people who have these preferences. <clears throat> I see. I see. But what about gods? Creature, 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 item, colour. Hmm. 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 Mostly the hot pops hits are topping the list. Yes, the big popular items that people love. Music. Food probably up there. So there's lots of stuff that only one person likes. Currently colour coded by uh, stress levels. Oh, okay, so the person, people who like pairing maggots are stressed. Also, the people who hate worms, fire snakes, brown recluse spiders, cave spiders, oysters, and lizards. Oh, that's the that's yeah. They hate those things. That's why it's red. I get you. I get you. Okay. Saturday luxuries. Hot persuaders. Is that a dance? The hot persuaders. Four. Sounds crazy. 
Okay, well once we've got the tavern rocking, we'll be all good. In fact, I can do that now, can't I? Let's make this the R, make it a dining room. Boom. Uh, make a meeting hall and assign a location. Boom. Uh, it's going to be, add a location, a an in slash tavern. There we go. In slash tavern. The candy of turquoise. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, I can imagine that. I've never heard of that screen before, but now you've showed it to me, it's going to make it a lot easier to make things make sense. Well, I hope so. Right, the, the sweltering shrine. Can I find out? Ah, location details, D. Ah, okay, Evan Goldflicker. Good, that's good. Dance floor in common area. Oh my goodness. Didn't realise it was a... Uh... Oh, and we could go down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dedicated to Aeson. So Eve Golden Flicker, Aeson, and the Golden Boulder. Okay, so we've done those. So now I go over here and I say, well, let's have another little temple. Boom. Uh, it's a meeting hall. That's a hospital. <laughs> it's a meeting area. Signed a location. A new location, temple. Uh, so you've got one, you've got one. Did, Al did Alron get one? God damn it. The Golden Boulder definitely had one. Aeson had one. I'll tell you what, let's have one for Atal, the worshippers of lakes, oceans and storms. There's only the one of them in here. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. What about this one here? Let's, uh, so, look at that again. Um, where are we? Where are we? Location details, there we go. So, just remember your stuff. We've got... Eve Golden Flicker, Aeson, the Gold Boulder, and Atal. Okay, okay. <laughs> this time I will remember. <laughs> here we go. Nice big one in here. This is a meeting hall. And now a location, which I'm adding. And it's a tavern. Uh, let's. Did we save the volcano one? We did, didn't we? Toral. Aim almost the direction of lust is one for volcanoes. We should put them in the middle, really. No, you know what? That's going to be there. It's going to be great. We may need to expand it when the hundreds of worshippers turn up at once, but it'll be all good. M L, not a tavern. Sorry, add temple. There we go. Uh, you know what? The papers of listening. No, you know what? The papers of listening are going to be in the library. Aha, clever, eh? Let's do that now. Let's designate the library. Um, there we go. It's a meeting area. It's a location, but it's not only a location, it's a temple to God of Wisdom, and it's going to be a... Add location, a library. There we go. The Cobalt, the Cobalt Palace. Is it? It should. Whatever. Whatever. We got those bookcases yet? No, not yet. They're in the queue. Um, Clay Cree. Am I a dwarf? No, I'm not a dwarf. Actually, uh, there's not one for me in there. Uh, I don't know, is there one for you, Clay Cree? And of course, uh, uh, Illust, if you want one, you can have one too. Um, let's just pause the action. We'll head over to Dwarf Therapist and have a little recap of what's going on. We had 98, 25, 15. Have a quick read. It's not changed. We've still got the same peeps. Um, however, let's sort by has a nickname. We have currently 12 people with a nickname. And are you in there, Clay Cree? Clay Cree? Not yet. If you want to claim a dwarf, now is the time. Uh, and also provide criteria. <clears throat> oh, and uh, oh, I thought I see. When you say, "Am I a dwarf?" No, I'm not a dwarf. I'm uh, I'm five eleven. I'm the average height of a UK male, as according to my daughter's height chart. Um, funnily enough, my partner she has the average height of a UK female. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Any fisher dwarfs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Let's have a little look. Fishing. There we go. Loads of them. 
None of them are any good, <laughs> but we got loads of them. Uh, you can be this one, this lad, stone crafting. No fishing for you, sunshine. Phew. Phew. You keep your stone crafting, mate. Uh, yeah, you, Fath, Fath Abrasingiz is now uh, I L L. Is that double L? It is E S T five O three. Where is it? There it is. Boom. There we go. And committed. We now have thirteen namies. I was thinking of the nice beard I have. May you be the vampire? Uh, yes, Clay Creed, you can be the vampire. Um, I just have to remember who it is. Um, Capo. There we go. Capo the vampire is now Clay Creed, the eternal watchman of the fortress. Commit. There we go. Nice. 14 namies. Just a nice little number, that, isn't it? Out of uh, 98, but still. Still, it's good. I like it. Oh, my phone no longer wants to show me <laughs> the uh, chat numbers, so I won't bother looking. Last time it checked, it was 14, which is an incredible number. Oh, thank you, Dwarf Fortress, for all these extra viewers. Uh... Oh, well, thank you very much, Ellis. Thank you for de defending my Dwarven integrity. Much appreciated. Uh, gelding, pressing and dying, and a one in each of them. You've got skills to play the bills. That's right, Mr. Clubfoot. That's right, Mr. Clubfoot. What am I saying? That's right, Clubfoot. You do. You have uh, a plethora of vaguely useful skills. Lanisserus is now... Oh, we need to get a hospital in, don't we? Actually, I got distracted. Was there a really important reason I came here? To name some dwarves? I think we've given everybody uh, a name who wants them. Let's get over to the fortress again and make a hospital. Because we don't have one yet, and they're kind of useful. They have uses. You know what? That's going to be inside the traps. I'm going to put the hospital uh, coming off here by these lads in the old um, thingamajiggle. Barracks. So if we dig a lovely... You know what? I'm going to make it like that. Sorry for all the annoying freehand drawing, but... Um, it's just, just the way I do things sometimes. Cool. You're going like that. You're going like that. And like that. And like this. And like this. You know what? Let's not do that last one. Let's just pop that off there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that came out remarkably symmetrical, didn't it? But this is going to be our hospital when we get round to it. I mean, it shouldn't take too long, to be honest. It shouldn't take too long. A jack of all trades, indeed. So, that's getting dug out. This is getting done. This is getting smooth. This is getting smooth. I think our stone smoothers actually have their work cut out for them at the moment. It's very busy. Very busy in dizzy. Okay, do we need more... Uh... We do need more temples. Now, this, I was going to make a big old... Um sort of generic temple, but hang on. Uh, tell you what, let's put some doors in. B, D, I'm going to put a door in here. Oh, we've only got three. Shit. Okay, so that's all the doors. Oops, so lazy. It's not all the doors. It is all the doors. Okay, let's put an order in for more doors. J, M, Q. We've got doors on already. No, D O O. Uh? No, 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 no. Q R O C K D O O R. There we go. Construct rock door. How many do I want? I'm gonna need loads, but I'll just do twenty because our uh, stockpiles are looking pretty full right now. Uh, there we go. Uh, I could place some statues down, get them out of the way, but we can only really put them in. Actually, we can do those in the temples, can't we? Let's put some statues down, get them out of the way. Uh, build. Statue. Okay, uh, have a statue there, statue there, have a statue here, statue here, statue here, statue here, all very good. And then how many more statues have we got? Let's make this a hall of statues. It can be a statue garden, it can be a five, six, seven, eight. So seven left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, we've got an extra one. Bogey. 
bloody hell. Let's pop it in the middle. There we go. Nice. Nice. Um, and then I suppose we make this a big old... Uh, boom. And then it's a meeting hall. Assign location. And then add a location. Temple. Uh, do we give it no specific deity for the big middle one? Or do we find someone that everyone loves? Who's got the biggest number of worshippers? 104, and they've got a volcano in their portfolio, so that's nice. Let's do it. Let's do the volcano one. There we go. Earth, caverns, mountains, volcanoes, and fire. Lovely. Good stuff. Um, it's 2.50 a.m. You need to get some sleep. Catch you later. You too. You have a good night. And it's 2.50 for me. Oh, you must be in the UK as well. <coughs> or um, Cairo. Apparently we have the same time zone as Cairo. Interesting fact, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Uh, thanks for watching, though. Much appreciated. Can I build a bookcase yet? No. Why not? J.M. Oh, these orders haven't been validated. Why? Where's our manager? Shit. <laughs> Nobles. Manager. Lanisserus. Huh. Oh, Lanisserus is knocking around, isn't she? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, are you DF hacking scoundrel? I am. Ever tried that uh, dig circle? Really? Dig circle? Did that just. Would that. I have no idea that would work. Uh, GUI stamper while in designate mode. Let's use select designation and copy paste. <gasps> oh, I guess I'll look into that. I'll have a look into that. Yeah. Maybe not right now because I feel like we're coming towards the end of the stream now at 3 a.m. <laughs> I have been streaming for almost four hours, uh, but we just play a little bit longer. Just that, just that little bit longer, okay? Right, out oh, the mine has been dug, the, the begun rather. Oh, Manisaurus is starving and dehydrated. Why? Hang on. You, where's Lanisaurus? Lanisaurus, Lanisaurus. There you go. What are you doing? Attend meeting. Why are you making a meeting in the trees? Has she got stuck in the trees? Oh, for crying out loud. She's climbed a tree and got stuck. Where's your stepladder? Honestly! <sighs> Christ, she's starving to death and dehydrating in the trees. Um, hmm. I will look into that illust, but uh, as I say, I think I'm I'm beyond the learning zone right now. Uh, so how do we get this chump out of the trees? Oh, Lanisserus. Do we have to chop the tree down? I mean, that seems like it's gonna be bad for her, right? Screw it, we're gonna have to. We're building a hospital. Oh, but she's the chief medical dwarf. Good grief. There we go, okay. Actually, DT. Priority number one, we've got to get her out of there. Let's watch this happen. Come on, someone chop this bastard. Oh, that reminds me, a boa. A boa, we need a boa. Uh, build, workshop, boa, boa, boa. Boa. B. Makes sense when you think about it, right? Okay, let's put that there. Make it a day site because I want to. Um, so any other workshops we haven't yet done? A uh, clothier's shop, a loom, a millstone, a quern. Oh, well, thank you very much for the follow. Um, I can't actually read that preview on my text. That's on my uh, preview screen. Let me just switch over here. Oh, it's Illust. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Um, what am I doing here? Kitchen, we've got one. We haven't got a fishery, which is interesting because we do have some fish. Let's build one up here next to our little fishing hole. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll do. Put it right there, make it out of pear wood logs, and then I'm gonna say I, no, I, make a zone here. There we go. It's going to be a, oh, there's no fishing area on it. Okay, screw you then. Screw you. We don't need a fishery here. Get rid of it, thank you. Okay, they're making that walkway outside the uh, fortress. Perhaps that's actually a little bit more than I needed, but okay. 
Look at that, we started this session going, we're going to work on pumps. <laughs> we're going to put lava into this fortress much quicker. And did I do it? Did I? Bollocks. No, I did not. Um, okay. Let's go down a square here and make some plans. Make some, have some ideas. I think what I need to do is... I wonder if we channel out a tunnel above it and then... No, it's, it's too dangerous. It's too crazy. How could you do that? Maybe it would be possible to uh, bring the other magma shaft into business. That might be nice. Uh, we should probably go and check on Lanisaurus again. Has she come down from the trees yet? Let's go and have a look on her. You, uh, Lonisaurus, that's worrying. I don't see her. Shit, did she die falling out of the tree? That, oh, that, 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 there we go. Drinking, she's fine. She's fine. View unit, let's have a look at her. What's her health like? Ability to grasp somewhat impaired and starving. But that's cool because she's out of there now and presumably we can go and look at her, yeah? I've got to go find her again, shit. Uh, where did Lanisaurus go? There she is, Lanisaurus. Currently purple. Zoom to. There we go, grabbing a goblet. Nice. Nicely done, Lanisaurus. Congrats. You survived. You survived. Okay, we've got a lot of beds knocking around, a lot of stepladders, a lot of mechanisms, some cages. I'm thinking time to put some cage traps in here. So, B. Capital C, no, capital T, C. And then what we want to do is do nine in a row. Oh, no, it's not one. There we go. There we go, lovely. And then doors. It's not a door. That's a door. We haven't got any doors. Thankfully, the Nisarus can now get back to her work as a manager. And uh, all those lovely orders will get fulfilled, right? Or verified, right? Man, she must have been up in that tree forever. I can't believe how long she's been sitting there. Just waiting for someone to come and rescue her. Poor old Lanisaurus. Okay, so now we've got the hospital up. Let's put uh, some beds in it. Uh, I'm thinking beds across the back wall. Like this. And then over here, here, here. And then can we put a cabinet in? How many cabinets have we got? F. Okay, put some cabinets in. Uh, they can go along here. There we go, that's good. And some chests, containers, H. There we go. I'm going to put these here and here. Oh, we've got loads of containers. No need to worry. Okay, so I, now I've got my zoning tool. Let's come to here, over there. Oh, tits, that's no good. Here, there we go. Up here to here. Bosch, it's a hospital, but it's also a uh, meeting area and a location, and it's a temple. Add temple to the healing god. Where is it? Fortress, minerals, fortress jewels, marriage, wisdom, healing. There we go. It's also a temple to the healing god, which makes sense, I think. I think it makes sense. We might need to build a traction bench. Can we do that yet? Build... Traction bench. Is that in here? There it is. Capital R. Needs traction bench. Okay. Uh, J, M, Q. Tra construct traction bench. There we go. Uh, let's have four of them. Why not? Cool. Those orders are still not fulfilled. Come on, Lenisaurus. Is that you there? It's falling asleep. Yep, just falling on the ground in the hospital. It's okay. As soon as the beds are in, it'll be all good. I mean, you are the chief medical dwarf, after all. <coughs> it makes sense for you to be there. Maybe we could put the bedroom off to the side. That might be interesting. Have it, like, attached to the whole room. That might work, mightn't it? It might work. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We've done a lot of progress today. Not so much um, waffling and babbling and chit-chatting, but uh, quite a lot of progress, which I'm surprised by. 
There's old desktop Zolosuthon still doing his individual combat drills. Because he can, because he's an immortal vampire. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Water buffalo cheese, donkey cheese, and a cheese barrel. And there we've got an oaken barrel. Apparently empty. Bit of a tragedy, but never mind. Let's have a little look down here. What have we got to move? You know what? I feel like we need to make this sand no longer in this stockpile. So I'm going to go click here, say S. And we're going to go to Furniture, Siege, Ammo. And we're going to say other materials in here. No, core quality type. Sand in here. Sandbags, there we go. No sandbags, please. Take them out of my furniture stockpiles because we actually have a room with sandbags designated. So thank you very much. But uh, they're not necessary here. Type sandbags, there we go. And then this stockpile as well. It doesn't seem to have any in, but what the hell. May as well forbid them. Um, type sandbags, there we go. Hopefully people will come along and move them out into this room here, which is very much all about the sandbags. <clears throat> what are these purple? Oh, it's coming up from the trade depot, right? Yeah, more than likely. More than likely. Uh, let's turn up the number of um, uh, bins that can be used here. Max bins. 189. Okay. Sure. Um, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Uh, maximum wheelbarrow. We haven't got many wheelbarrows, have we? Let's make it 10 on every stockpile. <laughs> We're starting with this one. There we go. Um, max bin. C CV, CV. What does that mean? Huh. I don't know how to change the number of bins. A bit embarrassing, but uh, there you go. What a tragedy. What a pure, unfettered tragedy. Right, let's go down and see how the mine's digging out. Sure, I've done that, so let's build uh, what I like to describe as a cavern baffle. A um, little tunnel like this. Maybe with a bit of a doorage in the middle. Suitable space for traps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bosh, bosh. And then here we'll do another little ring of roomy. Ring of roomy? Say I, dink, donk, one, two, three, four, five, bosh, and then dig around it again. What was it you said? D box select alt M and then H. That's fucking useless. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Let's just dig. There we go, and we'll do it the huh. Oh shit, what have I done? Alt M. There we go. Off. Off. Oh god, that was close. I nearly panicked there. Okay. That's good. And then we dig that over again. You see what I'm doing? Go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. C to reduce by one, V to increase by one, C to set zero, V to set max. Ah, brilliant. Brilliant. In that case, let's go back up. Uh, capital C. So, in here. Here, that's right, that's the one. Capital C. Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> capital V. There we go, 189 bins. Okay, apparently it already was using the bins, but never mind. I'll, uh, I'll just let it carry on then, I suppose. Fair enough. Uh, what else have we got to move out of here? Hopefully those sandbags will get out of the way. We can place some more beds. Oh yeah, I made bedroom floor, didn't I? <laughs> Put some beds in here, mate. There you go. Bed, 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 bed. Brilliant. Perfect. Um, more beds off this side, or do we build some noble bedrooms? I don't think we've got any nobles who are requesting bedrooms yet, have we? No. Hmm. Is Orchimedes putting a mandate? Make backpacks. Oh, for fuck's sake, Orchimedes. Come on. Do we really need backpacks? I don't think we do, do we? Do you have enough bins to fill the stockpile? I would hope so. We've got a load here. I mean, it's not 189 bins, but we can always build more. I'm concerned, though, because there's a lot of them dotted around in the... Um, 
in the stockpiles. I feel like get these out and then maybe it will hopefully make a better stockpile. Rose gold. Oh, very fancy. We need to get these lads working. Uh, build workshop. Uh, Magma Forge V. There we go. And we will build it. One here. Yep. And, oops, excuse me. And make it out of Gabro, sure. And then V here. There we go. Another steel anvil also made out of Gabro. Lovely. And then now, hopefully, we can start leveling up some people. I know I was supposed to, but uh, we ended up making Blackfire uh, the, the uh, thingy, and he's supposed to be our thingy. <laughs> we were supposed to make him, we we're going to make him the armor smith slash weaponsmith slash blacksmith and he was already our carpenter. Oh my god. I'm falling over my own words. I'm having a hard old time talking. Um, shall we uh, call time on the stream? Because those of you watching on YouTube, it's another hour long video. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure recording for you and I hope I see you next time. Bye.